Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notifications are turned on so you know every single time that I post. If you're interested in a reading, then be sure to check the about section for the information. As well as if you're interested in a membership read, then be sure to click the join button. And only those that have a membership will be able to access more information for Virgo, all right? So let's see what's going on, what we might need to know here currently at this time. Message for Virgo. Okay, so we do have Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So there's something that somebody's going to be blunt about. It may be allow you to overcome whatever you may have been feeling strained or um, stressed out about here. You're overcoming something that may have been unbearable to you. I feel like this could have something to do with um, an attachment codependency to or someone that you may have been toxic with or whatever this is or may have been toxic towards you. All right. I do see the Knight of Swords. So it looks like somebody could have lashed out or may have um, made you feel like they were talking down to you or they were they were not nice to you here. Okay, but I feel like this is tough love that's being given. This could be a family member, a loved one, or somebody that you adore. This could be a feminine energy. Okay, this could be a, a nurturing mother or, or somebody telling you something mother to mother, but it's like you, you received it as... Um, a person being uh, cruel or something like that here. Or this is vice versa. You may be telling somebody something and they think, oh, well, damn, you ain't got to say it like that. You know what I'm saying? The numbers 3, 10. Yeah, we see 10, 10 here. There's a 10, 10 portal. You're releasing yourself from something or somebody or a contract, okay, to move on. Yeah, this could be from a, a past lover or someone that you no longer are friends with or cool with or something like that. I feel like somebody could have had the cops called on them or um, somebody brought too much attention to your life. And you're like, the only person that I really fuck with is this person. Okay? So you're like, damn, I gotta, I, I gotta stop because this person be talking too much of my business and it ain't, it ain't cool. What's this Knight of Swords? What's this Knight of Swords? Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Okay, so we do have Princess of Coins. So somebody here didn't learn a lesson or somebody's being stubborn, hard-headed, um, or whatever this is. We have somebody avoiding some sort of knowledge or understanding to something. Somebody's choosing not to know or is being oblivious to what they think they know. Okay, somebody's making their own rendition of what they know to be true and not really the truth here. Okay, I'm seeing six twice and also five twice. So somebody could be seeing series of sixes and fives. Okay, um, somebody is leaving a situation. Six of cups. Somebody's letting go of a situation by leaving it behind. Okay, somebody feels like a person is reckless. Or that somebody only, what? thinks about themselves or doesn't um, allow your emotions to be important. Okay, so we have the devil. The devil keeps popping up in the reverse. You're, you're definitely focusing on um, getting away from people that are toxic or going to um, excuse whatever mess they've done in their own life or to you or got you a part of it the numbers three five one and 66 i'm seeing 66 66 that is your overall uh angel number for today some of y'all need to look that up to see what 66 66 means okay somebody's releasing something that wasn't going to take off or was going to put them in a position where they would be stuck this could be you traveling, discovering something, or whatever this is. You use your discernment. There was some type of secret that's being um, revealed. Somebody tried to hinder you from getting justice, okay? 
because it would stabilize your family, your life. Somebody definitely kept some sort of um, something that would come to towards justice here. Hmm. They knew that would solve all of your problems or leave you resolving issues. Somebody doesn't like when you're able to resolve issues, matter of fact. Somebody likes when you have a lot of conflict around you because you know how to control the situation and the room, the people, okay? You have balance like that. Somebody here could be a feminine that has masculine energy or could be an alpha female, okay? I'm one of them. All right. What's the message? Look, we have fire. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag could be significant. Okay. There's a strong emotion of passionate love or hate. So somebody here could be in between. They don't know if they love or hate you because it's it, it flips on both sides. Okay. But they do see here that you are somebody that they can kick off knowledge with or understanding or you you have so much um, presence of, of knowledge here. You know a lot. So it's like even when they hate certain things that you do or um, hate you, they have to love you because you give them good advice or something like that. This is not somebody that you can trust either. Because if somebody hates you, they will set you up quicker than they will, they will um, prevent you from, from harm. Okay, look, and exactly what I just said. Cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. You are protected because you are using the knowledge and understanding from the universe that they are giving back to you to um, prevent you from being in, in, in certain toxic situations. Look, I told you, didn't I say you can't trust this person? This person that loves and hates you at the same damn time is a two-faced friend, okay? And their spiritual animal is a cat or this is yours. Okay, we have the wreath at the bottom of the deck. Sorrow over a loss. Okay, somebody here is losing something or feels like they have to give up something or whatever this is. Look, tortoise, somebody wants something slowly to come towards you so that you feel like you're losing it. But you might not even be losing something. But they want you to think that because it's not coming fast enough. This landed here on the five of wands to the emperor. So I feel like there is an older, more wiser individual that has control of a situation or can call a decision if there is a need to. Where there are changes being made, so chain of events that will affect your life. Your family wishes are going to come true. Somebody is going to help you so that your family could win. So that you will be out of poverty so that you will have an, a, an, a fighting chance for something. Look, door. Opportunities are waiting for you. Okay, so celebrate. There's something that's needed to be celebrated. Okay, we have vacation. Somebody's going to get a chance to go out of the country or win a trip. Okay, I heard sweepstakes. You could be even winning a trip from um, solving some sort of trivia or something like that here. Let's see. More messages for Virgo. I'm hearing something about you channeling something where somebody is like an amazing channeler. Some of you could be um, tarot readers or a learning tarot. Or it looks like you rely on the cards to give you some sort of insight, but you are channeling from your higher self. Okay? You're very intuitive. Look. Somebody is so broke, the dollar menu is, is too expensive, but I do see that somebody will be winning. So there are things to look to, there are things that are looking up. Even if you're facing some sort of financial challenge, you're going to be um, getting time to celebrate, okay? Somebody tried too hard to keep you down with trauma, okay? Somebody's heartbroken of the loss, over the loss of you, and is hoping to come back a better person. But this is somebody that's very stingy. You shouldn't expect much from them or they don't like having to spend money on other people if it's not necessary. Okay? 
somebody will act on a threat. It's just a matter of time. You got to push somebody to the limit before they, they act, okay? Somebody is like a ticking time bomb here. Let's see. How does somebody feel about you, whether you're separated, loosely involved, or still dealing with this person? What is their hidden intentions or dark confessions? Okay, this landed in the reverse. So something is not too late. They could have been dealing with somebody, but they're trying to figure out how, what's going to happen with you. However, this person feels unworthy of having love in their life. They feel miserable. Somebody's finding it difficult to move on because the people that they're attracting or that they decide to be with temporarily is just not cutting it, okay? I'm also getting that somebody thinks of you at night when the world is asleep and their mind is awake. Or this is you. What's the message here? I don't know why I'm hearing that song, Calm Down. Okay, so we have bitterness. Somebody is, look, didn't I just say um, calm down? And then I see bitterness, resentment, anger, and hurtful words. Somebody needs to calm down, okay? Somebody is worked up. Somebody is emotionally going through it. We have turmoil, unstable, and affected. I am tapped the fuck in. Thank you to my spiritual team. I feel like somebody is clinging to your energy here. Somebody's clinging to the energy and holding on, obsessing and spying. Something is making this person spiral out of control because they're obsessively thinking about you because they see that you're releasing them, you're letting go, you're moving on, you're walking away from them. What's the message? For Virgo, what is it that we need to know here? Okay, so we have paranoid, paranoid psychopath. Somebody here it could be a paranoid psychopath that feels hopeless, cautious, insecure, guarded, abusive, conniving, unpredictable because of some sort of loss. Somebody's somebody is angry that they're losing you or that they can no longer reach you because you're releasing them and it's turning into depression or loss. It's so funny because I talked about somebody being on suicide watch and here comes this this hopeless card with suicide on it because of how depressed they are. Somebody wants to be closer to you in order to um, reverse whatever this is, but somebody here don't want to face up the fact that they have consequences for their their choices that they made or turning their back on their their guides or something like that, not doing exactly what they're supposed to do. That's confirmation for somebody. Okay, we have envy. Somebody here is resenting you for something that, something or the type of path that you're on, okay? Somebody here is um, resenting you or competitive because of what you are able to understand that they're blocked from. I don't think your spiritual team or theirs are giving them the heads up on certain things that are going on. They're, they're going through something or facing it on their own. Somebody needs to breathe, let go, control, control their emotions or clear their mind, even if that means that there is little to no possibilities, okay, of this outcome. That's crazy. Somebody doesn't feel like they can cope without drinking, okay, or being intoxicated, just not standing as themselves. Somebody likes being under the influence or doesn't feel like they're coping well without drinking, okay? That's because somebody has placed a love spell on this person to make them feel as if they are pregnant or that they're going to have um, 
a new bundle of joy. Somebody's putting a love spell on this person so that when they when they sleep together, that they could say that they are pregnant, but that's not the the truth. Somebody could be trying to make somebody feel like they need to be under the influence so that when they do or perform this love spell, that um, they can fake being pregnant. But it looks like this is going to be some type of fake news. Somebody's not even pregnant. Somebody's trying to keep a person by, you know, expelling this false news. Somebody here will not get clout off of some type of pregnancy here. It's going to be a failed attempt at getting attention. Yeah. Somebody is blocking a call, text, email, or somebody coming towards them in the physical. I feel like somebody is not kissing ass but rather blocking this person because they're interrupting their sleep or somebody's losing sleep thinking about something or someone here. Can I get one more? Yeah, somebody, somebody's thinking of a person that they've been on and off, hot and cold or detached from or something like that. Message for Virgo. Okay, so we do have reaching out. Somebody here wants to reach out to you or you're wanting to reach out to somebody, but not because you want to date them. I feel like you want to discuss something about the past so that you are able to put it behind you so that you can fall. I don't know why somebody is even wanting to conclude something. Like, just take it for what it is. Somebody's going to try to pull, pull you back in through reaching out. Okay, so you have a good, rich gentleman that's in your energy. Okay, this is somebody that is at a close proximity or uh, distance towards you. Wow. Somebody is going to try to approach you really quickly. Somebody may have taken a, a bribe to um, put some sort of scare tactic or unalive you. And I feel like they're being watched by the person that's paying them to do this. But why does this person need to be paid if they're a rich, good gentleman? But we all know how that goes. We all know how um, people use resources and, and power and things like that to make more money. This is what somebody's doing here. Somebody's trying to scare you or unalive you or whatever this is so that this money that you're supposed to receive doesn't get to you or you don't get a chance to use it or claim it or something like that okay we have the numbers 13 21 17 and 11 we got 13 13 here somebody needs to look up those numbers too 66 66 and 13 13 the message here what is it that we need to know currently at this time okay so it looks like somebody is trying to figure out whether manipulating controlling or being toxic towards you is going to work out for them okay this came out in the cross position somebody here is manifesting speaking up or having the courage to speak out towards you okay I feel like somebody's trying to come towards you to have a conversation because they know you are not of this earth. You are a chosen one and you have some type of cosmic or material gift that's coming to bless you and your family. Okay? Somebody's only holding back because they regret how they sabotaged this connection and they're now paying for it by missing you here. Somebody fucked up a good thing to have you as a life partner, a forever potential individual, and now their life is up and down, up and down, up and down because they let a false twin flame come between the two of you, and they have to hide the pain that they're going through emotionally because you had to make the decision to bounce on their ass, okay? Financially, somebody not, not doing too well, okay? Or something is being held back, stopped, or something like that. I'm going to get three more. Message for Virgo. This is also coming out in the cross position. Damn. 
okay so somebody's trying to manipulate how you are able to come into something because of how awakened that you are or um what type of advice that spirit is giving you um and and going on your spiritual journey or your soul's purpose i feel like um somebody is 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 missing out on this intimate connection that you all had and i feel like somebody's trying to make sure that you aren't able to manifest because you won't give them what they want so they're uh, obsessed with spying on you through social media or infatuated with what you got going on, which makes them tempted. Or they're trying to use this obsession to block you from what you're able to manifest so that they could tempt you. Okay? What's the message here? Okay, so yeah, somebody here is clingy and won't let you go or vice versa. This could be for you or this is mutual. You let me know where this fits here. Okay, I feel like whoever this person is, they might be taking their eye off the prize, which is you. Somebody may not feel like you feel the same way, so like their eyes is not on you at this time. Yeah, they feel left out in the cold by you. Because whatever it is that you got to say, it feels like you're rejecting the energy to propose this to happen. Okay? Somebody here could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. And you are the earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There is no more affection between the two of you. It's very clear here. Somebody is mad that you cut them off, so they're trying to lack your need to manifest whatever you got to manifest. Now, this is making me very... Um, inclined to figure out what's going on with you when it comes to your career. Let's see if we can get a money or career oracle. What's the message for Virgo? Okay, so we have a shift. Okay, so there's a shift that's supposed to be taking place. Taking your career in a totally different direction. You have the courage to change course, continue to grow, change, and learn. You reach the end of a route where you cannot continue traveling. Okay, we have silence in the middle of the deck. Moving in silence while you continue to build is something that you need to do, Virgo. Silence is the best way to increase your personal power. Okay? Sharing too much too soon could hurt or um, hinder you from what you want. Not everyone is honest and trustworthy, okay? You might need to pay attention to somebody that wants to be a leader or could be a parent of some kind. So you could have a hater that you share similar um, situations with, okay? This is somebody that didn't plan for something. Let me get one more. What's the message for career? business and money for Virgo so you need to stop sharing your um, your business plans or what you're going to do until you do it look labor your hard work will be rewarded soon keep at it beautiful construction maintenance pain painting or any kind of labor work don't be afraid to don't be afraid of hard work what what I can't even see I need my glasses. Don't be afraid to, of hard work. What lasts won't come easy, okay? So if you feel like you've been working hard and you haven't seen it, your the work that you've been doing is going to be rewarded here, okay? That's just what it is. That's beautiful. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to pick up on more. I might just pull one from here. Message for Virgo. Okay, so we have changes. That's at the bottom of the deck. In the middle, we have dress to impress. So I feel like you need to be aware of your surroundings. It doesn't matter where you're going. You have to make sure that you look the part. Okay? Somebody's going to have increased benefits or benefits to certain things that will um, comply to your life or that you will be able to use. 
Okay. Let's see which one of these cards fill. Why can't I put this in the box? All right. Wow, we have deadlines. So there's something that you need to get done. Okay? Once you get this done, you will feel like a weight is it has been lifted off of your shoulders. What's the message here? What is it that we need to know currently at this time? So healing inner child. So you're focused on healing your inner child. So something is a non-negotiable when it comes to something that a person wants to settle with you. You might need time or you're running on a time crunch because of a deadline. So maybe healing your inner child needs to happen right now. Okay. Somebody needs not to waste any more time so that they won't be able to be locked down or mentally imprisoned. Okay. We have a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces in reverse. So you're no longer dealing with somebody that could have been problematic to your healing journey, okay? Somebody could have been gossiping about you or tried to negotiate something for them to know so that they can gossip about it, all right? That's what I'm picking up here. Be careful of what you tell people because they will use it against you here, okay? Even if that means it's your own family or people that you call your family, because y'all are like brothers or sisters. And somebody will use that in order to gain information from you as well here. We have twin flames. So you have a twin flame connection that's coming in or you're not trying to give an opportunity to or you may not be ready. But I do see that you're going to be connecting with a person on a level that allows you to understand that this person is your yin to your yang. Okay? Okay. I feel like you could be not in the mood to talk or something is keeping you from a twin flame for whatever reason. Why is this interview in reverse? You're not allowing somebody to, to talk to you because uh, I think love makes you ick. Like love gives like you have the ick when you think about love or or um, something like that. Somebody here may have receipts or pictures or something about a person talking talking about the particular um somebody is just reiterating how somebody may might have performed in bed somebody ugh, this is weird or maybe this person that you are tr that you are attempting or is trying to get to know you they're talking bad about a person that they might have been with in the recent past and this is like damn you're giving me all types of running red flags like run forest run type vibes like i should run in the other direction because if you're talking bad about your past person and how bad they were in bed then what would you say about me whether it's right or wrong what would you say about me? I feel like you're like, I need to pump my brakes because, you know, I need to use my discernment here with a particular person. What's the message? What is it that we need to know currently at this time? Okay, we have uh, make the effort. So yeah, great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. Why are you not taking them? Okay, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So you know what that tells me? It looks like y'all have been single for a while that you don't know how to act. Okay, you, you've been so closed off for such a long time that it's going to take time for you to respond the way that the other person is. Or maybe you just, you have your... your um, your guard up real high. We have abundance and success at the bottom of the deck. So something, somebody's going to be blessed with money um, or something like that. Somebody's going to be offered something real big, okay, that allows you to have abundance or at least attach yourself to this here. Take it as it resonates. Reverse the roles. G-T-F-O-H. If y'all know what that means, then y'all know. We have leadership, okay? 
GTFOH. Okay, that's what I'm, I'm hearing. Somebody's going to take some form of leadership in their school, their home, their environment, their community, or a job. I feel like this is going to make a lot of people uncomfortable, but they're going to have to get used to it. And you just have to get used to the fact that you might not um, be everybody's cup of tea, but somebody's going to have to respect it. Somebody's going to have to respect that shit, okay? It's moving forward, and a lot of people got to get used to you being the leader, okay? Big change around here. All right, period. Let's see what's going on. What's the message for Virgo? What is it that we need to know currently at this time? So we do have stand your ground. I feel like you may need to uh, stop softening up when it comes to these people. Allow your dark energy to balance out with your light, to get over some sort of emotional loss that somebody has placed you through or not. Somebody here needs to stop um, comparing their past to their present or their future because this is what's hindering you from, you know, having a new circle of friends or whatever this is, okay? You're almost at the end of this, this whole spiritual journey. The number seven could be significant. Okay, let me see. We have firm foundation. So something is solidified when it comes to a home, money, um, friends, social group, or whatever this is. We got waiting game. Somebody has to play the waiting game for something to be solidified. Something will go from base chakra in reverse to firm foundation. Somebody doesn't feel like everything that they asked for or wanted is, is being fulfilled, but you will be able to move in a positive direction for you to become aware of the other things, okay? You just got to be patient, okay? Somebody here needs to work on their patience here, okay? Okay, that's the truth. Let's see, Holy Spirit Divine, what's the message? What is it that we need to know currently? Message. Okay, so we have, you have so much to be thankful for. We have compromise. We have Libra. So you may be compromising with a Libra over some type of uh, business venture. Yeah, we have upgrades, update, glow up. Somebody could be keeping a secret about uh, custody or, or a mother a mother having full custody or something like that. This, this mother that has full custody could have some type of um, business of, of someone moving quantities of narcotics, but somebody's trying to make it look like something else. That's crazy. Let's see. Tell me more. Somebody doesn't think that you could get like large amounts of money off of doing something, um, doing something good. They they have to think that it has something to do with drugs or whatever this is. Okay, so we have verbal diarrhea. Somebody talking a lot of shit and needs to close their mouth and choke on it. We have boot on car. So somebody could have had a boot on their vehicle or somebody is hindered from moving forward or something like that. Somebody could have got their car impounded or can't drive it. Yeah, something is going to move forward here. Someone was paid to be an alibi or did a favor for someone that is um, doing a favor for you. We have pets. Okay. Somebody is back to their old ways that turns you off. I heard eight weeks. Let's see here. Tell me more. Somebody here has a major change. It could be an inheritance. Okay, somebody could be rehired. Okay, we have autism and we have soft case or case closed. 
you have low iron levels or anemia somebody could be struggling with their blood count or not eating enough greens somebody needs to incorporate a lot more greens in their diet okay or somebody needs to take iron tablets or or something like that somebody's procrastinating on this okay there is a witch that's behind putting you through spiritual warfare or somebody that works with divination or divinating, okay, against a chosen one. Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed, and I will see you guys in the next one.